The Life of Lord Mahavira, The Embodiment of Love, Part 3 of 5, on Between Master and Disciples, given in Chinese and English, on July 20th, 2019, at the New Land Ashram, Taiwan, also known as Formosa. In Chanya Ochiome Involved in his spiritual pursuits, Mahavira utter in his deep and tranquil voice, Oh, Chandakaushik, open your inner eyes. Chandakaushik, I mean, maybe it's the name of the snake or the type of the snake. I guess this is the way you address this type of snake in a former uh, time. He said to the snake, okay, let's make it more simple. Oh, snake, okay. <laughs> That's probably what he said, with all his love and charming smile. Open your inner eyes, yes. Be calm and remember your past life. Maybe that's his name in the past life, so the master know the past life and remind him of that. So, do not inject venom of anger in your life. Rise above the deadly poison of anger, and then Mahavira open his ambrosia-filled eyes, I mean, full of sweet uh, nectar or the eyes filled with love. So when the serpent met his gaze, it felt as if a wave of peace and tranquility had engulfed its inner self. Please don't try. <laughs> don't try. See if your eyes has enough power to melt the serpent's heart or not. Okay? Or any other vicious animals, they do understand, they do understand. But I'm not sure at that time if they want to show you their understanding or not <laughs> when you gaze at them, okay? The best, when you see any beast, okay, any wild beast, don't stare at their eyes. That means war. That means provocation. That means challenging, okay? That means you want to show your toughness and to fight, see who is better, who is the boss. Don't ever, okay? If you see wild animal, if you cannot run, then just lower your head. <laughs> no, really. Recite the five names, say, Father in heaven, glory by your name, and etc. If you lower your head, the animals may feel less challenged, less threatened. Maybe they will not attack you. Don't look at the animals' eyes, except your dogs and your pet, your tamed animals. This is just a body language. The animals, they have their body language. There are many different gestures they do for different type of animals. Horses, they have the different type of body language. Dogs, they have different type of body language. Cats, you know, leopards, lions, tigers, etc., etc. They all have their body languages. You cannot learn forever. Mm -hmm. So maybe you have learned to master dog's body language, and if you use it on tiger, I don't know if it works. <laughs> Don't, don't mix up the language, okay? Maybe the tiger doesn't know another foreign language, then you'll be in trouble. Dogs also understand humans' language. It's easy for them. Most animals, nah, uh, they know languages by the way you speak out or when you think in your head. Like, for example, if you think about a book, then in your mind, in your aura, in your magnetic field, will appear a book. Then the dog understand that it's a book. I did not have to tell my dog, I'm going to get the veggie bone for you. I just think. They know immediately. And they follow me <laughs> with wagging tail and drooling, <laughs> waiting. 
If you have your uh, loving energy and intention in your mind, when you just uh, incidentally meet uh, an wild animal, then it could be helpful. But I don't know how much, okay? Because I don't know how much loving quality you have within you at that time. Maybe they can just smell your fear, and that's the worst thing that can happen to you. When the animals smell your fear, that means you're finito, kaput. Yeah. So always remember, okay? Practice love and compassion daily in your thought, your speech, and your action, so that in time of danger, you still have that with you. And then that may be your savior, except your master, yeah. But if your time is up, then don't worry, <laughs> okay? Uh, you always pray in every day, meditate, so that you can go uh, to Nirvana, no? Or New Land, no? And then uh, at that time, just remember Master. Or maybe you couldn't even remember the Master, then the Master has to remember you. <laughs> that would be the best. <laughs> Lucky, huh? There was a joke, I don't know if I told you already, because uh, these stories are all very, very, very serious and scary, so I have to put some funny calendar in between, okay? There's a joke. And one man went to a deep jungle, you know, deep, deep, very unheard of jungle. No man from our society, civilization ever walked in there. They, there's a tribe, they live together, okay? Uh, so uh, he went there, you know, for some purpose. Uh, I don't know what, maybe just curious, maybe to get some medicine, maybe whatever, visit. Yeah, some people like to walk into wilderness anywhere just to see something new because they're fed up with uh, city jungle, you know, <laughs> with high buildings and traffic and people. So he went to very remote, very, very remote corner of the planet, remote place of deep jungle. And suddenly he saw a group of big people, painted face and enlarged earlobe and extended uh, fangs and, and with a uh, spear in their hands and, uh, and jumping and shouting very loud, surrounding him. So he has never believed in God his whole life. Oh, don't practice any quaning method, nada. Mm. So at that time he remembered God for the first time ever. So I said, oh God, I'm sorry, I have never remembered you. I have been too busy, but please help me if you really exist. Tell me what to do. So God said, okay, I exist and I will help you. So the, the man, you know, trembling, said, what, what can I do now? He said, am I going to die here, oh Lord? He said, no, your time is not up yet. Uh, you know the story, yeah? I told some time before. So the man was very happy, you know, oh, wonderful. I'm not going to die yet, you know? My time's not up. So what to do, Lord? So the Lord said, you snatch the spear from the man with the biggest feather hat next to you. Snatch it to your hand. So he did that. And then uh, the man snatched and has a spear in his hand and asked the Lord, what next now, my Lord? So the Lord said, now your time is up. <laughs> 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 Even one second, you cannot die early, you see that? Hmm. So don't worry, if you die, <laughs> you die. <laughs> Even God cannot help you. Oh, he does help, but in his own way, you know. There's another story similar, I think you know it, but maybe not. There was a man who was falling from the cliff, huh? And then suddenly, midway, he got hold of a branch of the tree. And he also never believed in God before, but in this situation, he suddenly remembered the poor man, old man up there. He said, oh God, please help me. Even though I didn't pray to you ever, but please, if you exist, make me believe that you exist. Help me now. So God said, okay, of course, of course. Let go of the branch and I will help you. And the man say, anybody else? <laughs> <laughs> anybody else there? <laughs> yeah, that's how much you believe in God. 
always say, oh, I believe God, I believe. Whatever God say, I'll do it. <laughs> In this situation, no. <laughs> yeah. It's only one test and he fell. Yeah, be careful. Mostly you are being tested, but you don't even know, okay? So that you can maybe go higher, next level. So be always prepared. Be always prepared and really have belief in God, or faith in your master or your path, or your practice, and all the things that are good, okay? Believe it. Practice it so that you always are ready. Hmm. So even if you die the last moment, you know your life has been worthwhile. And that you have no regret in your heart. You're ready to go to a higher dimension. Dimension or dimension? Both are okay. English sometimes confuse me. Infinite, infinite. I don't even know where the fine night is. <laughs> where we find the night. <laughs> mm. Uh, just like uh, the man go to Hawaii, a German guy asked the man who looked like a native, is this island called Hawaii or Hawaii? Because in our country, German, they pronounce W like a V, you know, like, you're welcome. So he said, is the island here called Hawaii or Hawaii? So the man said, Hawaii. The so look like native man said, Hawaii. And then the German said, oh, that's what I thought, thank you. Because everybody told me it's Hawaii, so thank you. I know now it's Hawaii. Thank you very much. So the man said, you're welcome. <laughs> and now you know, right? <laughs> I thought about one joke, but eh, I think it's going to be on TV, so I don't tell you, okay. <laughs> when the serpent's eyes met the gaze of Lord Mahavira, it felt as if a wave of peace and tranquility has engulfed its inner self. See, affect the being inside, not the outside. Outside is just surface. Anything affect you inside, touch you, make you believe. That is the real thing. Anything outside, sometimes it looks like good, but it's not good. Sometimes it may look bad, but it's not really bad. Okay? Because our uh, physical eyes deluded us many times. Same with our physical ears, also make us trouble and we can hear wrong a lot of time. Therefore, we don't use the physical eyes, we don't use physical ears, we don't use any physical means to meditate. Everything from inside is the real thing, the best and permanent, lasting. Thank God we have a lot of time for my calendar because you're not going to eat or anything now, right? <laughs> okay. It appeared that its venom was slowly vanishing. Yeah, even he lost his venom slowly, yeah. So the snake was lost in deep thoughts. Yeah. Its dormant memory started unfolding and it acquired Chatismaran Chanan, some kind of maybe the power to remember past life, yeah incidents from its past two births surfaced in his memory. He remembered two births, two last births. Not everyone or not every being, even uh, saints and sages, remember uh, long lives past. Some remember more, some remember less. Some animals remember their past lives, yes. My dogs, they do. Yeah. Like, for example, the dogs who uh, speak English, she knows she was hermit last life, but she always ran away from me. And after I had her baby, then she come knocking at the door. One day she came in and knocked at the door, wants to come in. Before that, she ran away so quick. So after we already friends, you know, family, I asked her, why did you run away from me if you were hermit? Do you remember your hermit? And she said, yes. And then why did you run away from me? We were friends before. She said, because you forbid us to come back to this life. That's why. I did not forbid. I said, don't come back here again. It's a place of suffering. I don't want you to suffer anymore. So from now on, don't run away from me, okay? She said, no, now I, <laughs> I, get, I don't want to. <laughs> yeah. They all remember their past life. Sometimes they change their physical form, you know? So you cannot always recognize your dog. 
But uh, another dog, for example, you know, a uh, female dog, she is very similar to the last life because her tail is very bushy and curling up, you know. And uh, whenever she see me, uh, she lay on her back with all four upwards. The same like last life. <laughs> uh, not all the dogs do that. Maybe they turn uh, one leg up so I can see their stomach to rub, 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 you know, they like that. <laughs> but not her. She make all four up. <laughs> Exactly the same. <laughs> and if I call her by her name, uh, her pet name, last lifetime, and she's <laughs> very happy, happy, happy. <laughs> sometimes I call them last names. Just sometimes. Like I don't want to always remind them of, you know, their last life when they had uh, some suffering before they die or something like that. But for dogs, uh, most animals eat quick. Okay, they don't suffer long. It lasts one hour, two hours of suffering, then they go. Nowadays we have uh, medicine to lessen their pain. It's also thank God for that. Now, the serpent realized that it has suffered excruciating pain and degradation due to extreme anger and acute attachment during those last two births. The heat of repentance melted is vices. We, he repents so much, so that all his vices mean anger, gone. Its spirit embraced enlightenment and its mind became tranquil. It touched the pious feet of Lord Mahavira Swami and resolved, O oh Lord, now I will not look at anyone at all throughout my life. He decided, he repent his bad deeds and he said he will never look anyone anymore because he knows if you look at them, they finished. They burn and die. Uh, I will not eat anything. He continued to repent and vow in front of Lord Mahavira, say so he won't eat anything. I will also not drink anymore. I will just put my mouth in the hole and lie still in the shadow of your feet. I will now at once, for all my sins committed during the last three births, and improve my future. For what I guess is that Lord Mahavira has paid off whatever karma he had to pay, yeah, while interacting with uh, all beings on this planet, all his life, after life, reincarnation. So maybe he has more power now. Thus, even the snake's poisonous gaze doesn't affect him, and the poisonous bite did not kill him or injure him, yeah. <laughs>